All right, guys. So as the House is currently set to vote on impeaching the president, make no mistake about it, guys. All of this stuff, whether it's the impeachment, the 25th Amendment stuff, which Mike Pence has already told Nancy Pelosi is not going to happen. But all this stuff is about 2024. A lot of people are talking about 2022. No, 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 no. It's not about the midterms. For the Democrats, this is about 2024. Okay. And for the GOP, it is about the long term viability of the party. It's about the current GOP as we know it. Now, this is why you see the Democrats pushing impeachment so hard because they want to make sure that Trump cannot run at all, ever again. That's why they're pushing the impeachment process so hard. And they're also smearing Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley so hard because they are the top contenders outside of the president, in my eyes, for the 2024 GOP nomination. So they're trying to get rid of all competition. And what's sad to see is that the GOP is just going along with the Democrat game. And just when I was starting to think that they were pushing back a little bit, you know, Kevin McCarthy, who is the minority leader in the House, he came out and he said he's not for impeaching the president. He's for doing some other things to try to rectify the situation, but not for impeachment. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, huh, maybe the Republicans are actually starting to kind of get it right that this might not be the right move at this time however mitch mcconnell has shocked the world by allegedly uh suggesting in private according to the new york times that he is pleased that the democrats have introduced the articles of impeachment and see this and he sees this as an opportunity to permanently rid the party of trump and trumpism but before we get into that my name is Greg Foreman, and you're watching A Black Conservative Perspective. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share A Black Conservative Perspective, a.k.a. A Leftist Worst Nightmare. You can also follow me on Twitter at GForemanBCP. Let's get it. All right, guys. So, I know it's the New York Times. It's the liberal New York Times. I get it. However, this is something that we should pay attention to because we know that uh, he's going to be impeached in the House and is you know going to go to Senate for a trial. And if Mitch McConnell's on board with it, guys, then it's basically over for the president. That's just the cold hard truth of the matter. So it's important that I do this story, even if it's from the New York Times, because we should be aware of it and <laughs> we should be basically lobbying Mitch McConnell not to do this because I think that it's going to destroy the GOP to the point that it cannot be repaired and it will guarantee Democrat victories for possibly a decade to come. So let's take a look at the story here. All right, guys. So the New York Times is, is reporting that McConnell is said to be pleased about impeachment, believing it will be easier to purge Trump from the GOP. Senator Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, the Republican leader, has told associates that he believes President Trump committed impeachable offenses and that he is pleased that Democrats are moving to impeach him, believing that it will make it easier to purge him from the party, according to people familiar with his thinking. The House is voting on Wednesday to formally charge Mr. Trump with inciting violence against the country. Now again, guys, keep in mind here. They're not saying that McConnell said he would that he would vote to convict. He's saying that Mitch McConnell is pleased to be going through the process and that at the very least, he is strongly considering it. At the same time, Representative uh, Kevin McCarthy of California, the minority leader and one of Mr. Trump's most steadfast uh, allies in Congress, has asked other Republicans whether he should call on Mr. Trump to resign in the aftermath of the riot at the Capitol last week, according to three Republican officials briefed on the conversations. While Mr. McCarthy has said he is publicly opposed to impeachment, he and other party leaders have, deci have decided not to formally lobby Republicans to vote no and an aide to Mr. McCarthy said he was open to a measure censoring uh, Mr. Trump for his conduct. In private, uh, Mr. McCarthy reached out uh, to a leading House Democrat to see if the chamber would be willing to pursue a censor vote, uh, though Nancy Pelosi has ruled it out. So here's the interesting part about all this, guys. The establishment GOP is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because at this point, if, if you guys remember, 
Wall Street has basically pulled out from Trump. Big tech has pulled out from Trump. And also, these big companies also started to pull out from the GOP. Now, some have pulled out from politics, period. They're like, we're not, you know, supporting Democrats or Republicans for right now. But some have just decided not to support Republicans. And I think the way Mitch McConnell may be thinking about this is that from a money standpoint, right? Money talks. Like I've talked to you guys, like I've made in my last video, money talks. What he may be thinking about is how much money the Republican Party is going to lose in donations from corporate America if it looks like they are being sympathetic to the president. If they don't completely detach themselves from Trump or eliminate a certain wing of the party, right, that can be associated with Trump, that these corporate donors may just pull out permanently, which will ensure Democrat victories in the future. Now, guys, if you've ever read anything about Mitch McConnell, uh, one thing I can say about the man is that, you know, he really does care about the Republican Party, right? He, he will do anything that he can to keep the party together. And that's what the Republican Party has always been about. The Democrat Party uh, historically has been fractured, right? Where you have certain wings of the Democrat Party that is more than willing to not vote uh, along party lines if the Democrats aren't doing enough. However, historically, the Republicans, regardless of whether or not, you know, we disagree with each other, uh, we have always voted in line with the party and always showed out to vote uh, because, you know, obviously we don't want the Democrats to uh, take over. So that seems to be changing at this point. It, that seems to be something that is going to be very hard for the Republicans to continue to hold on to because Trump actually bought new ideas to the Republican Party. And these ideas that he bought to the party, I'm not necessarily sure that Mitch McConnell is going to want to hold on to those ideas, even though I think that he should. He should embrace the populism that President Trump bought to the party, even if um, they don't necessarily want Trump to be a part of it. I think that they would be smart to, at the very least, consider what made Trump so popular. And I think what he what made him so popular is the fact that he had ideas and he talked about things outside of the typical party platform um, that I think got people excited about a Trump presidency. It wasn't just about fighting against the Democrats. It was about, oh, Trump's actually going to try to implement his own things. And he actually is bringing ideas to the table. Carthy, on the other hand, I think he's more um, kind of trying to ride the fence of not trying to upset people. And he also knows that the House is going to uh, move forward with the impeachment regardless of what he says. So he really doesn't gain anything by coming out and being, um, you know, gun ho about impeaching the president. But at the same time, he can also say, hey, you know, should the president resign um, or should we have some other form of punishment? And he's not necessarily looking like he's being soft on the president, but he's not necessarily going for the nuclear option on the president. So Mike McCarthy is kind of riding the wave here uh, politically and trying to toe the fence uh, in terms of appearing not to be completely against the president, but at the same time, not trying to let the president walk away unscathed, so, so to speak. But that to me, guys, is just a BS liberal talking point about the president not being punished because the president has already been punished in the sense that he's been censored from the internet. And also Wall Street has pulled back from him. He really is going to have a hard time finding access to capital, right? Running his businesses, uh, going back to his regular life after this is done. And he's going to have a hard time really reaching people because corporate America has pulled a plug on him. So to say that the president hasn't been punished is really just BS. He has been punished at this point. So moving on here, Mr. McConnell has indicated that he wants to see the specific article of impeachment that the House is set to approve on Wednesday and hear the eventual arguments in the Senate. The House is expected to pass the single charge on Wednesday and a senior administration official said the White House expects about two dozen uh, Republicans to support it. Representative Liz Cheney of Wyoming, the party's number three in the House, announced on Tuesday that she would be among them. Again, that's Liz Cheney, who is very, very, very establishment type, along with Mitch McConnell, which could lend some uh, credibility to what the New York Times is saying in terms of Mitch McConnell, um, you know, leaning towards um, maybe voting to impeach the president or being very open to it. At the very least, I don't think there's any dispute that 
he's open to it. But the Senate Republican leader has made clear in private uh, discussions that he uh, believes now is the moment to move on from the weekend lame duck whom he blames for causing Republicans to lose the Senate. Mr. McConnell has not spoken to Mr. Trump since mid-December when the senator told the president that he will be recognizing Mr. Biden as president-elect after the Electoral College certified Mr. Biden, Mr. Biden's victory. All right, guys, so according to New York Times, um, M Mitch McConnell is saying that he's considering this an opportunity to permanently move on from Trump. Now, again, like I said before, guys, I don't think this is the right move. You know, if they said that they want to move on for certain aspects, right, the more conspiratorial aspects that comes along with, um, you know, some supporters of the president, I definitely will understand. And I would agree with that because I think part of that is kind of how we got here to this point. However, you know, tossing out the whole party as a whole when a lot of Trump supporters are just. You know, they love America. They support the president for various reasons, right? Not just the conspiratorial aspects of it because, they, because they're against illegal immigration. They want to bring jobs back to America. They feel that the president done a great job with the economy. They feel that the president uh, did great things on criminal justice reform, right? Particularly the minorities that support the president. There's a lot of reasons why people support the president, okay? So I think that ignoring that whole part of the party without taking away why do they actually support the president in the first place? Why do they like the president so much? AKA some of his populist ideas that he bought to the party. I think it's a grave mistake. So I don't think they should clearly try to cut him off. But I will say on the flip side of that, um, one thing that they could do if they impeach the president and also uh, vote not to allow him to run for office again is that that eliminates the possibility that President Trump could launch a third party presidential campaign that would basically guarantee a Republican defeat in the 2024 election. That's why I say, guys, all this stuff is about 2024. All of it is about 2024. OK, Mitch McConnell could be thinking about this from the sense that, OK, if, if we vote to impeach him and, you know, we convict him. What happens is that we could get back in the good graces of corporate America, right? We could keep our donations. We can keep our funds up. That could also be seen as the ultimate, like, okay, we don't support this. We don't support him. That can ingratiate ourselves back in the mainstream society. And also on top of that, it would eliminate our biggest threat of competition come 2024. And it would give us four years to basically win people back without having to worry about Trump running again. I think that's kind of what Mitch McConnell is weighing, the pros and cons of that however um i think he is underestimating how much making the president a martyr would damage uh, any chance of the gop winning in 2024 because if you basically don't allow him to run for office again i think that people are going to respond in a way in which there's gonna be a permanent exodus from the gop not even just a permanent exodus from the gop but a permanent exodus from politics so many people are into politics just because of Trump. Like I'm even I'm expecting over time in the next few months, like I'm expecting like a lot of drop in viewership, like I'm expecting like slower growth. Like I'm expecting that because so many people are into politics just because of Trump. And if you eliminate any possibility of him running again, not only are you going to lose people in the GOP, but people just not going to be in tune with politics. It's not like they're going to go and become Democrats, but you're going to just straight up lose people from the GOP and the Democrats aren't going to lose anything. And right now, the GOP is only won a popular vote like once in 35 years. Also, you have all these migration patterns from New York, L.A. to these red states like Arizona and Georgia, which we've seen flip blue. The GOP at this point, can you afford to lose Trump supporters unless there's some major party realignment. Mitch McConnell can't just dump Trump without a major party realignment. They can't dump Trump and just go back to business as usual. They cannot do that. I don't understand why this would even be something they're considering right now. Like I get it, the whole corporate aspect of it. But really, you shouldn't be relying on corporate America to fund the party in the first place. You should be trying to appeal to those that are voting to, for you and raise a lot of your money from them. You shouldn't be taking money from these big corporations in the first place and doing their bidding instead of doing the bidding on the American people. That's how the GOP got to this point in the first place. And this is not just something that is unique to 
the GOP. The Democrats have the same problem. Both parties are bought and sold by corporate America. So corporate America pulling out from politics, pulling the rug under both parties is a good thing in my opinion. I'm not mad at that. But I can definitely see the things that Mitch McConnell may be thinking about in reference to why he is open to uh, convicting Trump uh, in the Senate and why he wants to hear the arguments. Because remember last time, guys, he, he was just like, no, this is ridiculous. This is impossible not to do. So I'm just laying out kind of what I'm seeing here. But we do have some centers, and this is according to the Epic Times. You guys may like this source <laughs> better than the New York Times. But according to the Epic Times, there are some senators like Senator Tim Scott from South Carolina that have come out and basically um, been against impeachment. He's basically saying the same things that I'm saying, that an impeachment vote uh, will only lead to more hatred in a deeply fractured nature, uh, nation. I'm opposed to impeaching President Trump. I think that's the right way to go. I think that his mind is in the right place. Also, Lindsey Graham has also uh, been against the impeachment as well. But you do have some Republicans like Mitt Romney, who probably would vote to convict the president because he voted to convict the, convict the president based off the BS Ukraine phone call. And then you also have, uh, you know, Republicans like uh, Pat Toomey, who have come on an attack from the president, who has signaled uh, support for the impeachment. Uh, Senator Ben Sass said he considered uh, convicting Trump. And uh, Senator Lisa Murkowski also said that she wanted Trump to uh, resign. So these aren't necessarily hardcore commitments to voting to um, convict the president from a lot of Senate Republicans. A lot of them had just been quiet on the issue. Um, however, it's only going to take 17 of them. Only 17. So at this point, guys, honestly, I don't really know what's going to happen. Yesterday when I made the video about Pat Toomey and Kevin McCarthy, I thought that the Republicans were definitely moving away from impeachment. But now that McConnell has come out and said that he's open to it, if he goes for it, Trump is as good as done. Right. And I think that this ultimately could come down to McConnell. What does McConnell want at the end of the day? And he is the leading Republican at this point. He is leading the party um, after the president uh, leaves office. So it's going to come down to him. And he is the person to watch. So I'm going to keep my eye closely on Mitch McConnell when it comes to, to this impeachment stuff, because it seems like he is weighing the pros and cons of it. And that at the very least, he is open to it, which I think would ultimately destroy the party for at least another decade if he did that. However, you know, I do understand uh, why he is open to considering it. I hope that ultimately he decides not to go forward with it uh, moving forward. But who knows at this point, guys, who knows anything could develop uh, here moving forward. And it seems like this stuff is changing day to day. So I'm going to try my best to keep you guys updated. But let me know what you guys think about McConnell's alleged views on this situation. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.